Hello, I'm Tamara Backhouse, a research fellow from the University of East Anglia in the UK, and I'm going to be talking about our paper, Making Body Work Sequences Visible, published in Sociology of Health and Illness. So our aim was to um, examine the day-to-day -day work of ward staff in acute orthopaedic hospital wards, and this was part of a wider program of research called the Perfected Program. And we used institutional ethnography as our approach and we conducted 204 hours of observations within the shared spaces in three acute orthopaedic national health service wards in England. We found that body work, where one person works directly on the body of another person, was, was more than just that interaction, it was part of a wider sequence of care. So the sequence always started with initiating. So this could be staff initiating, patient initiating, or even the routine of the ward itself initiating an action of bodywork. And after a bodywork instance had been initiated, there was some preparing work that, that went on. And this was where staff would get together the information they needed to do the task, um, have the right skills, the right staff member for the right um, bodywork interaction and get the equipment and resources um, ready and also to modify the environment ready for that bodywork interaction. And then there was the undertaking of bodywork itself. So this involved monitoring the body, maintaining the body and rehabilitating the body. And within the bodywork interaction itself, staff attended to the object and the subject. And then there was some restoring and proceeding work that went on from this. So the, the environment got changed back to a pre-body work state, um, infection control actions happened, information sharing and documentation of what had happened. So throughout the body work sequence, staff would discuss body work with each other and also with the patient as well. And they moved the patient's body um, and sometimes the patient helped in this as well. And the whole sequence was encapsulated in a sort of focus on ensuring safety. So we found there were differing levels of privacy and objectification of the body present throughout the whole sequence. For example, objectification of the body didn't stop um, with the face-to-face -face body interaction. It actually happened more when staff were away from the body itself. And we concluded that by making visible these microprocesses and the sequence around the bodywork encounter, the complex physical and cognitive work that ward staff have to do to deliver frontline care can be acknowledged and inform policy makers of the resources required in these settings. So to improve the care interface, we need to engage not just with the face-to-face -face bodywork interaction, but all the underlying systems um, as vehicles for enacting change.